guys. So a new semester is coming up and my favorite part of going back to school is always going back to school shopping. And this year I've really tried to focus on upgrading my tech products for school. So I thought I would share some of my favorite finds and just some um, tech products that could be useful for students. So the first product is a MacBook. So I think a MacBook is actually a really good investment. It is kind of pricey, but you can use it throughout your whole college, even after. So if you think you're gonna use it for five plus years, I would say definitely go get it if you can. But a tip if you want a better priced MacBook is to get a refurbished MacBook. Just make sure it's from a trusted reseller. But you can find some really good priced refurbished MacBooks for like 50% off or even more. And if you don't want a MacBook, you can obviously get another laptop. And a really good option is the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. It's also kind of pricey, but it kind of looks like a mix between a MacBook and an iPad. And if you want a real good deal, you can get a Chromebook. You can find one for like $99 on Best Buy. Alright, and the next one is an iPad. I've actually been thinking if I was just gonna keep my MacBook or if I would switch it out for an iPad. Okay, like what are the differences? Pretty much the biggest difference I found was the note-taking feature on the iPad. It's the best honestly for taking notes because you have the apple pencil and you can do handwritten notes instead of just typing which is actually scientifically proved that you remember more when you physically write down your notes instead of just typing on a keyboard but instead of using a paper you have them digitally and it's just easier to edit and keep track of share between your devices, share with your friends and stuff like that. So that's number one. Number two is just it's fun taking notes on an iPad. At least I think having notes like this is just more fun and appealing than having a long text. So for me personally, I will invest in an iPad this year because I really think it will be a good investment for my university years. And also, if you're thinking about buying an iPad or a MacBook, Apple always has some back to school deals for students around August and September. So sometimes they have like giving out a gift card, they even give out like headphones. Um, so definitely check that so you don't lose out on any deal. And talking about headphones, on my latest trip to the Apple store, I actually tried out the AirPods Max for the first time and I was really impressed at how comfortable they were and also how like similar they were to the AirPods. So you can switch between noise cancelling mode and transparent mode, but they were still these like actual big headphones. Also, I think they just looked very good and aesthetic, but they are really pricey and there are a lot of other alternatives such as the Bose 700, Bose QuietComfort, Microsoft Surface headphones, and Soundcore Life Q20. So I will just be linking some good alternatives in the description so you can check that out. And the next thing you will definitely be needing if you have an iPad or a MacBook or just any laptop or, or device, honestly, is a case for it. Since you're gonna be using this for school, you're probably gonna be carrying it around, maybe taking it with you on buses, trains, and just being very active with it and since it's already pricey, you kind of don't want to be making the mistake to drop it without a case and it just breaks and it's just not going to be fun. <laughs> so since I'm the biggest Apple fan, I went to Apple to check out their laptop cases and iPad cases and their laptop cases were honestly so much better than a few years back. They have some hard shell ones, even clear cases for your MacBook. My favorite brand, Tech21, has a big selection of actually really good looking clear MacBook cases. For me personally, I use this one, which is from Apple. And I've been using this for, for three years and it's been holding up really, really good. As you can see, it barely has any scratches at all. So I think that's a plus of getting Apple cases. They are really, really good quality. And this one I just saw they have in a bunch of different colors, like green, black, I think. So Apple has just a bunch of different styles, honestly, for cases. They almost had a bigger selection of MacBook cases than iPhone cases, I feel like. 
which is kind of funny. For iPad cases, they had some basic ones like silicone cases in different colors, and then also some keyboard cases, which I think could be a really good option if you have an iPad, but you kind of want to have that keyboard because it's really hard to write assignments on the screen. Okay, moving on to some things that not Apple. So as you can see behind me, I have this thing over my computer. <laughs> this is an LED light for my computer. It's not at all expensive. I'll link some good options in my Amazon storefront, which will be in the description, but you can use it for several reasons. You can use it for studying. The lighting is really strong and good for studying, so it's honestly the perfect study lamp. And then also it makes my computer screen just more pleasing to look at because I tend to work in dark lighting a lot and it's not very good for my eyes. You can also get them for your laptop and just hook them up so yeah they're just awesome for studying and being on your computer and the next thing I will get is an external hard drive. This is the G Suit from Apple. I don't think they sell this one honestly anymore, but having an external hard drive is gonna save you so much stress because you're gonna be able to keep everything organized on this one. All your papers, assignments. I use this for my video footage as well. Literally everything to free up some space on your computer. So I try to keep everything very minimal on my computer and then instead make folders on this one and keep everything here. So again, I will link some recommendations in the description. The next product recommendation is actually a really, really good one. It's the Philips alarm clock. I've had mine for honestly like eight years plus, maybe even 10 years, and it's still working very well, but it's probably been a lot upgraded so you can get a newer version. But it has this light up function to wake you up. So instead of just making this annoying alarm noise that everyone just hates, this alarm clock will gradually light up. So it will kind of imitate a early morning where the sun goes up. It also has options for alarm noise, which is very soothing sounds, birds, nature sounds, and don't worry about it not waking you up because it will like gradually build up so it will first make a really low sound if you don't wake up it's gonna go higher and eventually it is gonna be like very very high but it's still gonna be a very soothing sound so it's not gonna be this annoying <laughs> iPhone alarm. This next product is an Apple product again, but it's an Apple AirTag. And now you might be wondering, what am I going to use Apple AirTag for? But as a student, an AirTag could actually be very useful if you often find yourself losing your stuff, especially I think during exams, you're in a very like stressful mindset. Often stress will lead to your mind being very distracted and you often like lose your things. So putting this on your important stuff, like maybe your hard drive or Whatever you find yourself losing a lot will just save you a lot of stress, which I think is honestly priceless. And also if you often find yourself bringing like books to class and then you end up losing your books or switching them up with someone else's, just put an air tag on your book or books and you will always know where they are. I know from my experience, I previously mixed up my books with someone else's and I had to pay for them not returning my book when I returned their book. So that's just kind of annoying and I wish I would have had something to like know where my books were. So the next product I would really recommend is an Apple Watch. And I know it can be pricey, but again, if you want to get a cheaper one, go for the earlier years models or get a refurbished one or get another smartwatch that is an Apple. But there's so many great uses to an Apple Watch and I actually have a whole video about what I use my Apple Watch for. There are so many apps that could help you with school, your mental health, breathing apps, meditation apps, and just like having all the features of your iPhone on your wrist, but without having the distractions of social media on your iPhone. So for example, instead of setting a timer on your iPhone, set it on your Apple Watch and you won't get distracted by your iPhone all the time. So the last product I want to talk about is an iPhone. Like as long as you have a working phone, no matter if it's an iPhone, iOS, Android, but if you do want to get a new phone for the school year because you feel like yours isn't working, it's like lagging, it's a really old one, a tip would be to always wait until the new iPhone drop in September and then get an older version of the iPhone to get a better price because usually there's a price drop in the older model when the new iPhone comes out or get a refurbished one. But at least in Sweden, it's really hard to find 
a good priced refurbished iPhone. They're all pretty much the same price as at the Apple store. That was some of my favorite tech products for back to school that I'm personally using or planning on getting. There's obviously so many tech products out there. If you're interested, on my Amazon storefront, I have a whole page with tech products that I personally like. So if you want to check that out, you can find it in the description. In case you missed it, I started off my vlog channel where I actually recently filmed a back to school vlog. It's kind of a calm aesthetic ASMR, I guess, back to school vlog. So I will like that as well. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.